ladies and gentlemen, John Denver. Welcome to uh, the Midnight Special. We think we have uh, a really great show for you tonight. I know we have some incredible entertainers for you. And I suppose that, I hope you folks know, and for some of you in the audience out there, that we have some ulterior motives in what we're doing this evening. Uh, we're here to try to stress the importance of everybody getting out to register to vote. Now, all right. <laughs> You know, it's something, uh, it's something a lot of people have been talking about for a long time now, to have 18, 19, and 20-year-olds to give them the chance to participate in local and national elections. And uh, now it seems we have the chance, but there are still about 12 million people out there who haven't bothered to register. And as far as I'm concerned, there's really no excuse for anybody copping out. And Truly, the way this lady sings really knocks me out. Linda Ronstadt. I'm 
industry some groups sometimes break up and new groups are formed different groups and oftentimes uh, better groups come out of this and uh, if you remember a group named the zombies which uh, several years ago <laughs> not too long ago had a very big hit record uh, all over the world actually called time of the season and rod argent was the leader of that group and has since uh, formed another group they have a very big hit record now all over the country called hold your head up please welcome argent
ladies and gentlemen, Isley Brothers. lady, Cass Elliot. Hi, 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 hi. Hiya, Cass. Hiya, John. How are you doing? Fine and dandy. I'm great, too. I didn't ask you how you doing. <laughs> well, I, I like to say it once in a while because it makes me feel Just to better. remind yourself. Sure, you sure. Okay. You know how it That's is. That's all right. You know, I'm really glad you're here tonight because as you, this is about voter registration. I know. And I know that you've done a lot of work about that yourself. Yeah, we're jo all just getting ready for a big push. This is very important, you know. Um, if I could, I don't know whether who's been talking about it so far on the show, but uh, I've been traveling around the country for the past year or so, talking at a lot of college campuses and trying to find out exactly what people are thinking. And the thing that's impressed me the most is... Uh, there is still, in this country, believe it or not, after all the talk, a tremendous amount of apathy mm -hmm. on the part of people who maybe don't like the way things are going and maybe want to change it, but don't do anything about it. You yeah. know? And your vote and my vote is not any more important than anybody else's. They are equally as important and very important. And that's why we're all here to get everybody to get out and register. I don't think it's so important who you vote for. You vote for who you believe in. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is to vote because it's our way and it's the best way. And that's why I'm here. And that's why you're here, too. That's great. Do it. Thank you, Dad. I'm glad that you're here to tell people that. She's a very eloquent lady. It's a song that I wrote that I'm letting John sing. <laughs> 
I couldn't have said that any better myself. Okay. I'll just walk over here until you're ready for it. All right, let's see. Are you guys ready? Okay. All my bags are packed, ready to go. say goodbye but the dawn is breaking it's early morn the taxi's waiting he's blown his horn already i'm so lonesome i could die so kiss me and smile for me tell me that you wait for me hold me like you let me go I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh, babe, I hate to go There's so many times I let you down so many times I played around And I tell you now They don't mean a thing Every place I go I'll think of you Every song I sing I'll sing for you When I come back I'll bring your wedding ring So kiss me and smile for me Time has come to leave you one more time. Let me kiss you and close your eyes. I'll be on my way. Dream about the days to come when I won't have to leave alone. About the times I won't have to say. Everybody. Kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you wait for me Hold me like you never let me go Just about all the music that's been made over many, many years now, you can hear the influence of these two guys. Uh, from back at the time when they recorded Bye Bye Love, and I was in, I think, junior high school then, until just recently, an album that they have called Stories We Could Tell, which I think is the best they've ever done. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a big billboard on Sunset Strip now that reads, if they could turn your parents on, they can wipe you out. And I happen to believe that that's true. Ladies and gentlemen, the Everly Brothers.
Living in the Darkness is, uh, is a very, very big hit record all over the country now. And I'm very pleased we have the group that made it that way. Ladies and gentlemen, War.
years now. I met her, first of all, I guess about three or four years ago, uh, back in the Midwest. And I really thought she was a great singer then, but it didn't seem there was a whole lot of things going on for her as far as records go. But about, well, a little over a year ago, she had a, a giant hit record with I Don't Know How to Love Him, the song from Jesus Christ Superstar. She's a lovely lady, I think. She's uh, a composer, also a lyricist. She's a woman. Please welcome Miss Helen Reddy.
I've known this next gentleman for a couple of years now. I met him first of all when he was singing with Blood, Sweat and Tears and I was the opening act at a few of their concerts. And I thought then that he was uh, really an incredible singer and that feeling has really grown over the years. In fact, there are just two people, I think, who really, as far as singing goes, stand head and shoulders above anybody else in the business. Uh, one is my friend Harry Nielsen and the other one is this man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm freaked out to have him on the show. Mr. David Clayton Thomas, the Sanctuary Band. Open my eyes early this morning and I found myself all alone. Sweet taste in me still on my tongue and a touch of tomorrow in my bone open my eyes early this morning and the whole round world was turning cold sweet taste in me Still on my tongue Was it borrowed? Was it bought? Or was it so? And I can still hear Yesterday's music It's the same old Same old melody Someone And no one belongs to me to sing the song with me. I can still hear yesterday's music. It's the same old, same old melody. Someone. Chapin. Hi, you Harry. You? you know, this show, or the point of the show this evening at least, is uh, it's about voter registration. Well, uh, I'm uh, sort of a, a bad person to ask for that because I've got some very strong political feelings, so I'm, I won't go into those. I've been working uh, in various, you know, doing various concerts and things, but uh, obviously uh, it just makes damn good sense uh, if you care about what's happening, you, you do something one way or the other, and uh, the way you do something, uh, at least in this society, is to go out and vote. And uh, I think both uh, President Nixon and uh, 
Uh, McGovern have said that there's a, uh, this is the clearest choice of the century, and so I think we all should go out and make that clearest choice. <laughs> Well, like you say, it, uh, it is our point to uh, at least do our part and get involved uh, and make that choice, whichever way it goes. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, about the song Taxi now, which, which you're going to do, is, is, that, is that a true story? Well, it's uh, emotionally true, if not literally true. I, uh, I've been in the film business on and off for a lot of years and uh, wasn't doing very well at one point, didn't have any gigs, so I went out and got myself a hack license for bread. And uh, during the month that I was waiting for it to come through all the papers, I heard an old girlfriend of mine had gotten married instead of becoming an actress and she'd married a rich guy and I envisioned some night I'd be driving a cab in big city streets and uh, this lady would get in the back and I'd turn and look at her and she'd look at me and we'd, we'd both know that we'd sold out our dreams and so uh, I wrote the song then. It's, I, re it's really a beautiful song. Ironically enough, the day I was supposed to start driving the cab, uh, I got uh, three film jobs, so I never had to drive <laughs> <laughs> up on my mantelpiece right. in a place but of it honor. Was, it was close, though, for a while, I guess, huh? Please do it for us, all right? Love to. Harry Chapin. It was raining hard in Frisco I needed one more fare to make my night A lady up ahead waved to flag me down She got in at the light Oh, where you going to, my lady blue? It's a shame you ruined your gown in the rain she just looked out the window She said, 16 Parkside Lane Something about her was familiar I could swear I seen her face before But she said, I'm sure you're mistaken and she didn't say anything more It took a while, but she looked in the mirror Then she glanced at the license for my name A smile seemed to come to her slowly It was a sad smile, just the same And she said, how are you, Harry? I said, how are you, Sue? Through the too many miles and the two little smiles, I still remember you. It was somewhere in a fairy tale I used to take her home in my car We learned about love in the back of a Dodge The lesson hadn't gone too far You see, she was gonna be an actress And I was gonna learn to fly She took off to find the footlights I took off to find the sky Oh, I've got something inside me To drive a princess blind There's a wild man wizard He's hiding in me Illuminating my mind Oh, I've got something inside me But it's not what my life's about Cause I've been letting my outside Tide me over till my time Runs out
There was not much more for us to talk about Whatever we had once was gone So I turned my cab into the driveway Past the gate and the fine trim laws And she said, we must get together I knew it'd never be arranged Then she hand me twenty dollars for a 250 fare She said, Harry, keep the change Well, another man might have been angry And another man might have been hurt But another man never would have let her go I stashed the bill in my shirt And she walked away in silence It's strange how you never know But we'd both gotten what we'd asked for Such a long, long time ago You see, she was gonna be an actress And I was gonna learn to fly She took off to find the footlights I took off for the sky And me, I'm flying in my taxi, taking tips and getting stoned. I go flying so high when I'm stoned. you folks are thinking out there. <laughs> You're thinking, sure, sure, he can play guitar and write songs and sing a little bit, but can he juggle?
Midnight Special from August 19th, 1972, right after Station Identification. <laughs> David? John, how are you doing? I'm great. Man. Geez, I love that song earlier. Is that going to be your single, do you think? Yes, yes. It'll be on in about 10 days. Mm -hmm. Someone be loved. Everyone. See, I'd like to sing with a group like this behind me sometimes. Instead of Mike and Dick, I get tired of them. <laughs> I hope they're not listening now, anyway. You know, uh, David uh, has been involved in voter registration a great deal in this country, and uh, as you know, that's the main point of our show tonight. And it's kind of interesting to me because I know that you're from Canada, mm -hmm. and I wondered, you know, why you're so involved over here. Well, Canada being next door neighbor, with missile bases and dew line and early warning radar and everything else, is uh, profoundly influenced by whatever happens here. I guess it's the same with young people all over the world. They're all um, their lives are going to be affected by what happens in this election now. Well, you know, it seems to me, uh, as much as it's, you know, very evident between here and Canada, uh, that's just a fence line away, but it seems that the world has grown so small that uh, what happens anywhere affects people in other parts of the world, and as long as we're more aware of that, maybe we'll be a little bit better right. off. Huh? Right. You're going to do another song for us, right? I'd like to. What's it called? It's called Nobody Calls Me Prophet. It was written by myself and William D. Smith. Over there on the piano? That's him. Dynamite. David Clayton Thomas, the Sanctuary Band. Somebody's war is won Somebody's back is breaking And somebody's favor's done Somebody calls me brother Somebody calls me son And ain't nobody calls me prophet Till my prophecies are done Never been known to swear upon the gospel But I sure been known to swear
again Wondering if this traveling is good Is there something else a doing We'd be doing if we could But all the stories we can tell
Before we close things off this morning, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank especially the people who've been a part of this show, behind the cameras and the other entertainers who've been here this, this morning, but also uh, you folks here and uh, you folks out there watching. Uh, we feel that uh, what we've done has been worthwhile and we hope that we've done something about getting some more of you folks to go out and register. I want to remind you that uh, in this democratic society of ours, a government for the people, of the people, and by the people, that you have a responsibility too, and that if you don't take part and don't get involved, you really have no right at all to bitch or complain. Thank you very much. It's five o'clock this morning and the sun's on the rise. It's frosting on the window pane and sorrow in your eyes. The stars are fading quietly. Night is nearly gone. If you didn't know, it's goodbye. Yeah. I wish you could tell me why do we always fight when I have to go? Seems a shame to me now. Hi, this is Wolf Man Jack reminding you that Glenn Campbell will be your guest host for next week's Midnight Special. Don't you dare miss it. <laughs>